I'll tell you, he's, he's overwhelming. He's overwhelming. <laughs> Thank God forever. God stood in the way of his own judgment that I could be set free. Amen. Cared a lot about me, didn't he? Yeah. Cared a lot about me. Yeah. That he would give his own something that he loved. I tell you, it's it's not over. It's not over, and I'm so thankful that he cares about me. He went above and beyond the call of duty. Like Zach said, I can't wait to hear him sing. I was sitting as Zach was teaching. I was running through my mind. I said, if God Almighty uh, could come here this morning, which he's here in, in the spirit, but in the flesh, and, and uh, he'd say, uh, he'd get one of our hymnals. And I was sitting there thinking, wonder, wonder what he'd sing. <laughs> wonder what he'd sing. I don't know what he'd sing, but I, I don't think he'd sing no sad song. I believe it'd be joy, Todd. I believe it'd be joy. I know it'd be joy. If I could just get. As I've said so many times, if I could just get to where I could tell the story like it needs to be oh, told. Yeah. If Richard Harrell could just preach the Word of God like it needs preached. If I could only do it justice. But all he wants to do, all he wants to do is love us. There was an old can't remember the name, but he was an old uh, retired military from way back. I don't know if, if it was, he was a military leader. I don't know if it's in the Battle of Gettysburg, one of those wars, one of the terrible wars where many young men lost their lives. But this old leader shared this story for years. He said the most touching experience he had uh, while being involved in the military. Said after the battle, said it, it was such a, a terrible, great loss to, to his regiment and to his, his uh, soldiers. And said they, it, it was, said the Red Cross was just working and they, there was not enough of them to go around. They, they was trying to help people. They was trying to identify the dead. And, uh, Said there was an old Quaker by the name of Hartman. Said he came, came to his tent and introduced himself. And he said, uh, "I've got a son that that's that's it that was in this battle." And he said, uh, "His name is John Hart, John Hartman." And he said, I, 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 I'm sorry, I know you're busy and I, all of that. He said, but I come checking on my son. And this military leader, whatever his name was, he said, I'm sorry, sir. He said, but I can't. He said, I can't tell you anything. He said, he's not answered when his name has been called for several days. And said, I'm not to be cold or not to be indifferent. He said, but just to be honest with you, I would say your son has been killed in this battle. And uh, so this old Quaker said, sir, do you mind if I go look around the battlefield? He said, I know the Red Cross and all of your people is so busy rescuing and identifying. He said, no, you, you can go. And said so this old man went out and said uh, he would find a, a, a soldier's body and he would roll him over and look at him searching for his own son. And said, no avail, no avail. Nighttime came and the old man got a lantern. And he said that uh, he went out through the battlefield looking at bodies of dead soldiers and said there was now, not all of them was dead, said, but it was so, such a sad moment, said there were soldiers laying there and not enough helpers to help. Be soldiers there crying and weeping and, and calling out names of loved ones and some praying. 
So, but this old Quaker took that lantern and said after a while into the night, the wind had, had extinguished the, the flame and the lantern. And so uh, he said when anyone else but a father would have turned and went back home and give up, he said he began to cry out. This old Quaker began to cry out and say, John Hartman, it's your father. And I've come to take you home. And he said he went all over the battlefield calling that. And said he had called out John Hartman so much that his voice had got weak. Said, but near the end of night, when the sun was about to come up, said he cried out one more time, John Hartman, it's your father. I've come to check on you. I've come to take you home. Now over the hill was a still small boy saying, Father, here I am. And said that old man picked that wounded son up that was almost lifeless and carried him, literally carried him for several miles to safety. Stayed right beside and nursed him and, and took care of him and said the man recovered and lived several years after that. And this military leader said that was the most touching thing that I thought I'd ever see in my life. He said, until I sit under the preaching of the old time Holy Ghost anointing. Yeah. He said, and then my heart was touched more than John Hartman's daddy coming after him. He said, I heard about a Savior. That voice rang out over the hills of time down through the valleys of time. Sad wounded soldier, it's your father coming to me. I've come to take you home. I've come to rescue you from the battle. And all we gotta do is say, Father, here I am. That's all we gotta do. And he'll rescue us. He'll rescue us. You're here this morning, you say, how in the world can I do it, preacher? As I taught you this morning, you can't do it. You can't measure it. But what you can do is when he calls your name, say, here I am, Father. Here I am, Father. Lifeless and hopeless. And if you don't rescue me, I'll forever perish. All you got to do is say, here I am, Father. Here I am, Father. Are you ready? Are you ready? He's calling your name. He's been calling your name. He's come to help you. As John Hartman lay dying on that battlefield, there wasn't enough help to help him. The wounded far outnumbered the help. Many a man perished in many a battle because there was too few rescuers. But there ain't no reason for anybody to perish in this battle. When the Father himself is walking calling out each and every name come unto me all ye that labor and heavy laden I'll give you rest hear the blessed Savior calling the oppressed he's calling your name I know you can't do it by yourself had this young man John Hartman had strength I'm sure it tore him up he would have said daddy don't you ever come onto the battlefield. It's too fierce. But he wouldn't have put his father to risk if he could have saved himself by his own strength. Jesus Christ walked on the battlefield someplace he didn't need to be place he didn't deserve to be. But he 
he put us above him on self to rescue us. Why don't you come? Why don't you come? Give seek. Come on, Jenna, help me. He, he knows my name. Every step that I take. Every move that I make. Every tear that I cry. Thank you. 
Praise the Lord. Thank you. Well, been a good place to be.